Hi everyone and welcome back to another enzyme video on Scadia.com. Today we're talking about enzyme inhibitors. And this is probably one of the most important videos of the series. This is because the enzyme inhibition is exactly how many drugs work in the body. So what exactly is an enzyme inhibitor? This is any substance that decreases the velocity of an enzyme-catalyzed reaction. Now, inhibitors can either be reversible or irreversible. And the main difference in the two that you should know are that irreversible inhibitors bind to enzymes through covalent bonds and are irreversible, while reversible inhibitors bind to enzymes through a non-covalent bond forming an enzyme inhibitor complex, and they are reversible. Basically, the dilution of the enzyme inhibitor complex results in the dissociation of the reversibly bound inhibitor and the recovery of enzyme activity. And the two most commonly encountered types of reversible inhibition are competitive and non-competitive inhibitors. So, there are two main types of reversible inhibitors, which are number one, competitive, and number two, non-competitive inhibitors. Now let's understand how they work. Now in our basic understanding of an enzyme reaction, enzymes take substrate and they convert it into product. They are catalysts, which means that they catalyze reactions. Both types of inhibitors have the same exact goal to inhibit the reactions of the enzymes from taking place. So they will try to inhibit the substrate conversion into product conversion. But they do this in different ways. So let's first look at competitive inhibitors first. Now these inhibitors usually have a very similar shape to the substrate, and they occupy the substrate's binding site on the enzyme. They block the substrate from access to the enzyme. So basically, they compete for the same site as the substrates. What this means is that if you put in a lot of extra substrate to the reaction, it can actually bump the inhibitor out of the way and overcome the effects of the inhibitors. But we'll talk about this a little more later on. Now let's look at the non-competitive inhibitors. This binds to some other site on the enzyme, away from where the substrate is supposed to bind. And this changes the shape of the enzyme entirely, so there is no ability of the substrate to bind to anything anymore. It basically blocks off the binding site indirectly. This means that the enzyme's binding site is now different and the substrate just cannot bind to the enzyme anymore. So the substrate cannot overcome this by putting a lot of extra substrate to the reaction. Essentially, the enzyme has now been changed into a form that does not bind to the substrate anymore. It's as if the enzyme is not there at all. You can think of non-competitive inhibitors as enzyme destroyers, as its effect renders the enzyme useless for its given purpose. So that was a quick look at the inhibitors. In the next section, we're talking about how inhibitors vary kinetics of an enzyme reaction. 